What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. Obviously, uh, a lot of episodes next couple days are going to be about LA Stanley Cup winning and everything that goes through goes along with winning the Stanley Cup. But uh, today we're going to focus in on uh, David Letterman top ten style. We've done that a few times, and people really seem to like it. Uh, why? How Hollywood has caught cup fever. Uh, so without further ado, number ten. Given the countries represented on the Kings roster, Brad and Angelina have tried to adopt the Stanley Cup. Obviously, Brad and Angie have a whole international brood going on over there. More power to them. Love them both. On number nine, Taylor Stevens, adult movie actress. It's the Devils fans with Scott Stevens. It's the Flyers fans. Ouch. Steven Stindrone right there. She was great, by the way. They were one and one in games that she was at and won the cup with her there. Uh, in honor of Watch the Throne 2, big rap album, Jay-Z and Kanye write Stanley in Paris. It's a follow-up to their number one hit, Blank in Paris. Uh, about a one-night stand between Paris Hilton and the Stanley Cup. Sounds a treat. And can't wait to hear it, boys. Uh, number seven, more Kanye news. Uh, Kim Kardashian dumps Kanye for the new popular guy in Los Angeles, Stanley. Obviously, trying to boost the ratings on, on E. Number six, Slash and Axel hit up Carter and Richards on how a reunion is always better the first time than the first time around. Obviously, I would love to see that happen, but given Slash and Axel's combined egos, probably never going to happen. And if people don't know what I'm talking about, then you don't appreciate music. Uh, number five, with John Mayer living in Bozeman, Montana. John Quick becomes the most popular ladies man from Connecticut and California. Obviously, both with the same name, both Connecticut natives. I don't know if Quick's from Bridgeport or not. Uh, number four, bets are being placed throughout LA on which lasts longer, Jeff Carter's hangover or Clooney's newest flame. <sighs> Gotta go with Carter's hangover on that. It's gonna be a couple weeks thing, and we all know George Clooney goes through women like the, the uh, Kings did with goalies for a number of years where they found Quick. Uh, number three, I hops throughout the valley off of Dustin Penner. Free coffee from the Stanley Cup. Unlimited refills of coffee from the Stanley Cup. The cup is already free pancakes. Obviously, it's the valley. They need anything they can for publicity. Uh, number two, Charlie Sheen goes from smoking 7 gram rocks to 16 gram rocks in honor of each gram for each win in the, the playoffs. Charlie, obviously, has to staple sign up for, for game four. Kind of a, a rough deal for uh, President Sheen. And uh, number, number one, the number one way Hollywood's caught cup fever, when the game got out of control in game six, the fat lady singing was Khloe Kardashian. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. The top ten list on how Hollywood caught cup fever. Uh, that's all I got in this episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the off season and beyond. It's going to be weird until the off season. Off and out, but later guys.